everyone. So I am here at Benchmade finally. So as you guys can see right there, I can't use my finger properly, but it's right there. Um, super excited to be here. And uh, I already took a little, little quick peek in there, just kind of see the layout. And then uh, basically, we're just gonna go in there. I'm gonna give you kind of a quick tour of the entrance, which is right back there. Um, and uh, yeah, just a quick walkthrough, and then we're gonna look at the knives, do a little, do a little search for the certain knife I'm looking for. I'm probably gonna keep you guys on edge on that knife, so I guess I'm gonna keep it a mystery. Uh, and really quick before we head inside, I just wanted to show you guys that they have reserved parking just for me. Look at that! Look at that! I am special. So, with that being said, uh, let's head inside and uh, do our thing. All right guys, so here is the entrance. I gotta say, it's a pretty cool entrance here. You got the all sorts of cool pictures on here. But let's enter the building. So we'll head right in. Got some, got some cool stairs over here. So this is the main entrance here. Got the Benchmade logo up there. And then we're gonna go to the factory store in there. So let's head on in. All right, so at the main entrance, we have a display case here. Don't know exactly what these are, but they look used and abused, which is awesome to see. So we got that right here. So let's step on in. Got the workers here, we got the knives. A cool logo, love the logo. So, and one thing I did notice here was, I can get that stuff up there, right? Just that cool cutout. Yeah. I actually do a cool wallpaper. <laughs> I like that a lot, that's actually really cool. But uh, let's get to the knives, you guys. So, I will do my best to inform you guys, and I do have some backup here in the, in the store to tell me what I'm looking at. I don't know the exact name, so I guess we'll get started. So we will look at one of the ones I've been eyeing for a while, so we'll take a look at the Mini Osborne. Appreciate it again, thank you. So this is the one I've been eyeing. I do love the original Osborne, but something about a Mini that I just love so much. Give you guys a close look. Got that nice green, those that famous purple on the standoffs here. It's a really beautiful knife. And of course, very smooth. You got the axis lock. Just a great, great knife. Awesome stone wash. And uh, maybe one of these days I will customize this for you all. So there is the Mini Osborne. I'll put it up on screen, how about that? <laughs> so this one, I do have one of these. And I will be doing something to it eventually. Great knife, flies right out. Got serrations here. Again, that really nice stone wash. Just a great knife. I can definitely customize it since it is full liners. Nice little safety here. Great budget knife. Highly recommend this one. Really, really good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so we have the Mini Freak and the Full Size Freak. And I think this is one of the more beautiful knives, to be honest. I just love that red accent of the thumb stud. Great shape. Got that little thumb ramp there with the jimping. I think this is a great, great knife. Super smooth, really light since it is carbon fiber. Give you guys a close look. Beautiful material, done very well by Bunchmade. Really, really nice. Let's see what steel we have here. I can't read it on the camera. We have S90V, really nice. Then we will go to the full size. Actually, we'll do a size comparison here. Have it open. Full size is fantastic as well. 
very beefy, but in a good way. Ergos are really good. Same thumb ramp with the jimping. I do like the red accents. Again, this is done differently, but still with the red. Really, really nice knife. Real quick, size comparison there. Show you the bug out lineup here. So we have the standard um, bug out with the S30V. Um, just nice little gold accent there on the thumb stud. Good old classic bug out. But this is the one that I really wanted to check out since you guys are loving this on YouTube. So I just figured I'd give you guys a close look. The burgundy accents here. I thought they were red on other channels, but slight burgundy to them. Really pretty, very light. We have it in M390, I believe. Yes. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Super smooth, strong. And I love that sunburst or whatever pattern that is. That is really, really nice. So there's that one. Of course, we have the carbon fiber in what is this uh, S90V. So again, you can't really go wrong with carbon fiber. Beautiful material. And if I had a CNC, I'd love to create my own with the fat carbon. But this is just as beautiful. And I was told this is the titanium backspacer. So again, very, very light. It'd be tough for me to decide between these two, but the aluminum handled one is very, very nice. So I'd probably lean more towards that. But there are the bug outs that I thought you guys would want to check out. All right, guys, we have the mini Adamus, full size Adamus, and then the bailout here. So this is the one I'm considering on purchasing. So hopefully I leave with it today. If not, I'm going to come back another day and get it because I have to <laughs> look at my funds um, but beautiful knife this I really want to get this one because I want to customize it for you guys and kind of give you my take or what it could be the potential but it's already a beautiful knife as you guys can tell and crew wear nice coating gunmetal coating g10 handles just a beautiful knife all the way around Love this thing, the jimping, the aggressive jimping underneath. Reminds me a lot of the Contigo, handle-wise. Just a great, great knife. And the Mini is, for me, seems like it's a full size. But the full size is actually full size. Excellent knife. Reminds me of a Cold Steel, let's say, 4 Max Scout. But yeah, just... It's, just uh, a great knife. Yeah, exactly. You guys can see the size comparison here. Mini full size, and then we have the bell out here. So this is actually what I considered the original bug out. If they could only make, well, now that they're making more, uh, I guess, stronger material handles. They are meeting my standards on the bug out, but this was originally the one I wanted to get over the bug out just because of the aluminum, the strength, and the Tonto blade. I think it looks really good. Super smooth. Got that glass breaker. I know some people aren't fans of that, but uh, yeah, just a really, really nice knife. So we'll see which one I get. I will definitely keep you guys updated if I leave with something today or tomorrow. But that is just a really nice lineup. Definitely eyeing this one, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we have the so auto pack here. Very needlepoint like. Exactly. Everything. Very difficult to do one handed. But this thing is a snappy little guy. Yep. It's a soft launch. It is snappy. That one's kind of hard to explain less than all of them. Camera. Uh, like I said, it's a beautiful carbon fiber. Knife. It's yeah. uh, got the bolsters. Very good. Resistant, so if it gets wet, pocket clip. 
kind of no-brainer. All nice, yeah. clever, yeah. 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 gentlemanly. If it were to stay wet, it would rust a lot. Yeah. 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 Really nice spot open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Close up for that. Yeah. Tool stills is just the weakness. They're not stainless. And again, I will put the names on screen. This comes with the S90V. Okay. Very, very nice. Dagger S. Cool. And next we have the Claymore. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of what I'm listening to. Just one fairly push here. Nothing like this. So this one actually yeah, launches out nice very hard with cool. authority. Um, no, 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 very no, snappy. Well, you, you get very lightweight, too. As well, or Love the sound of the it too when it launches out. Deep carry. So if you own any of these, like the color, too, with the texture. You can see right there. It's got a safety that works. So what they'll do is I'll go in. Yeah, just a really great sound. Great, there it goes. Excellent. I'll have to uh, put that on the list for next time I come in here. All right, so let's move on to the Osborne Auto. Same, same knife, just an auto. I haven't handled this one until I got here, but not a deep carry pocket clip, but it's never been an issue for me. So, like one thing, the classic grind Osborne blade, beautiful stone wash, but this thing is this thing launches out too. It's a very smooth yeah, I'll just, I'll take one of these watch. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's, it's not as aggressive and snappy as the Claymore, yeah. but it still fires out very, very smooth. I really like this one. Very simple design, too. Yeah. Now we're going to move on to the FRF and then this one, but I will put it on screen. And this one is... Very soft. Actually, no, this one actually can go. Uh, uh, this knife down here that's a soft. Actually, no, I got that backwards. This is a very soft launch. I love the texture on the G10. I think that looks really cool. And it feels great. Got your safety. Reminds me a lot of the Osborne, the blade shape. Good carry. Uh, we're just doing the mini clip to hack it on the knife. But yeah, this thing is really, really cool. And we have the last one. Yeah. So, uh, I forgot the name. But I will put it up on screen. But this one really, really launches out. Like, makes a great sound since it's since it is aluminum, it's a little milling pattern on the scales, non deep carry. So the cool thing about this and I have a very simple blade shape. So like got the safety at the top. I do like where Benchmade puts their safety on most knives, since they are kind of out of the way. You see on the Osborne. So when it comes to it looks good and it's hidden very, very well. You have this one on the side. This one as well on the top. Doesn't get in the way. So really, really cool design. So there are the autos that I thought you guys would want to check out. Okay, guys, I almost forgot the Adamus auto. So I just wanted to show you guys this really quick because it's. I'm probably going to just open it once because it's hard to get it with one hand. But this thing is super snappy. Very. Very, very aggressive with the kick, but in a good way. Very similar to the Claymore I just showed you guys. But this thing is really, really nice. Uh, might have to get this on the next trip next year, but just a great knife. Love the coloration, the coating on the blade. And you do have a safety up here up top, which is. Again, a really, really cool spot. And it does work. Hello. So, it's a really, really awesome knife. I can't say more good things about the Adamus. So, yeah, you guys can get your hands on this anywhere. I highly recommend it. There it is. Super, super snoopy. Alright, everyone, I wanted to show you this Balasong. This is the Benchmade 85. Beautifully milled, all titanium. Let me try to get the lighting is really annoying, but 
I will give you guys a close-up. So this is an integral ballast song, as you guys can see here on the handles. Beautifully milled. I believe it's been blasted, it looks like. Gorgeous. We have all titanium, pretty much everything, other than the blade, of course. It's riding on bearings, crazy smooth. And uh, even this, God, I forgot the name of it, it's a spring latch lock. I believe I got that right, but it's really snappy when you engage it. I'm sure you guys can hear that. It locks in. But it does come out really smooth. And uh, the hardware is really nice. You guys can see it right there. It's got like a windmill pattern. Very nice. Very light for the size of this thing. the bag. And we will open it. Inside? I can't open it. The packaging. Like some of these guys here. This is the packaging that came the white. Gorgeous plate. That? Love that belly. No, that must have been me. Are you just handing me this? Oh, no, you're fine. S30. The knife. Let's... It's a gorgeous shape. Because I think... I think you Big knife. Nice, very light. Everything. And again, they're milling is... Brands, so hopefully the other ones work. If not, it's a work of art. I might look through the catalog. Hopefully I get to this level one day. But a lot of grip options with these grooves. Okay. Let me know down below what you guys think of this thing. I just had to show okay. you guys. Well, uh, some other stuff should be. That is the Benchmade 85. Awesome. Cool. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing for you guys. You guys can see it's the Tango Flipper, gold class. The, uh, the staff members here were kind enough to let me get a gander. So I'm going to do unboxing for you guys. If I can do this one-handed, so bear with me. Give you guys a close look at a gold class because I've never actually opened a gold class bench made before. So you guys are going to experience it with me. So we have the, let's see what this is. Okay, I'm just going to film this so you guys can read it and check it out if you'd like. That's very well done too. Got a very nice shark skin, blue stitched sleeve for the knife. So very nice, very soft, cool texture to it. Stamped the logo in there, USA made. That's really awesome. Then you get the gold pouch here as you guys can see very pretty I mean, for this price point it would have to be gold it might be a real gold i'm not sure but here is the knife itself here, let me switch hands be careful not to damage this thing you break it you buy it i'm assuming but there it is you guys I will put on screen what material the uh, sure. carbon is, or the carbon fiber is. Just really, really gorgeous. And I will put on screen what the name of that backspacer is, because it's slipping my mind. But I do know what the steel is. We have Dama steel, Dama ladder pattern. Beautiful, beautiful knife. It's really gorgeous. It is a flipper, but feels great. Flies right out. Has a really unique sound when it clicks in. Just beautiful. Can't stare at it enough. Nice Tonto blue anodized hardware. I believe it is titanium. Blue liners. Just gorgeous. So there's the gold class. Just gorgeous Tengu Clipper, yeah, gold just, class. Just I feel privileged to handle this thing. Again, I'll give you guys a, a closer look. You even have that Dama Steel design on the spine of the knife. My phone can get in on it. But there it is. So that is that. I will put it away. So now I'm going to take some photos of the layout here or where I can 
that's pretty much my visit here at Benchmade, and I will keep you up to date on what I purchase here, either today or tomorrow, since I'll have to think about it.